Don't get ripped off. Tonight, Fox 12 puts computer repair shops to the test to see who's helping you and who may be taking a bite out of your wallet. KPTV's Carrie Tomlinson is live at the KPTV.com Center with more on this. Carrie? Well, that's right. This is the computer that we used for the test. We had our engineers check it out and we made sure it was completely problem free. Then, changed just one thing to see if the repair shops could find that problem and then to see how much they would charge you for those repairs. Is our secret. We pulled the plug on the hard drive so this Fox 12 undercover computer will not boot up. Off we go to test computer repair places in the Portland metro area. We stop here at PC Paramedics in Northeast Portland asking for computer CPR. Engineer Tony Gambino tracks down the problem in minutes at no charge. We reveal the test. I thought it was a lot of fun actually. And the fact that he passed. The best tests are the one you don't know you're taking. We tried to get in at other repair places with less luck. Geekoids with drop-off spots listed in Portland, Tigard, and Scapoose told us there was a seven-day wait. Half-price geeks in home repair had trouble setting up an appointment for us. And the man who answered the phone at Geeks on Time told us it would be very expensive for someone to come out for repairs, so he thought we shouldn't do it. At last, we found an open spot here at the Geek Squad at Best Buy on Cedar Hills Boulevard in Beaverton. Once again, we brought in our computer with the hard drive unplugged. Once again, the technician found the problem right away and fixed it at no charge. Does that mean an A-plus for the Geek Squad? Not every store. We also carted our undercover computer to the Geek Squad across from Washington Square Mall in Tigard. The technician here says he can't figure out what's wrong, so we need to check it in for a $70 diagnosis. Two days later, the Geek Squad there calls us and tells us our hard drive is broken and it will cost as much as $580 to fix. That diagnosis is a surprise to the folks at PC Paramedics. Not a broken hard drive. When we go to pick up the computer, the strange stories get even stranger. The Geek Squad technician says we have a virus, too, even though we had no virus before we took it in. Didn't get any virus notifications, no. The people at this Geek Squad suggest several times that we get a new computer instead, and they would be glad to help us. All this over an unplugged hard drive that other places spotted immediately and fixed for free. How it hard? should be something they'd figure out in the first several minutes they had the machine. We contacted the Geek Squad for answers about the store that passed Hi there. and the store that failed the computer repair test. I haven't had an opportunity to talk to anybody from PR yet. The corporate office sent us a written statement from the Geek Squad district manager saying, quote, We take any misdiagnosis very seriously, and I personally feel horrible that we miss this opportunity to be consistently accurate. I'm working closely with my Geek Squad agents going forward to ensure that the highest level of service is maintained consistently for our customers in Portland. We tried one last place, OKPC in Beaverton, a brand new repair business. The owner also found the problem right away. That means only the Geek Squad near Washington Square failed. Other stores say they prefer to do things right. The way that we've always envisioned being able to work in, in, in a community is that it's much easier for us to, if we saw you at Costco or the movie theater or the mall, to say hi to you than hide from you. They hope that shops that get it wrong will fix their mistakes to keep customers feeling confident in computer cures, not worried about repair ripoffs. And certainly if we did uh, miss the mark, we'd, we'd want to take a look at what, uh, what options we had available to us and what we can do to, uh, to, to improve. Now, a note here, several of the geek squads in Oregon, if you checked, they were getting Fs with the Better Business Bureau. However, the BBB now says that the geek squad headquarters in Minnesota asked for all of its Oregon reports to be consolidated with the reports in Minnesota. So now, if you look up the geek squad in Oregon, you're only going to see the overall rating for headquarters, which is an A-, minus, not the Fs that they were getting before. Reporting live, Carrie Tomlinson, the 10 o'clock news.